Welcome back to the Ultimate Decades Challenge. Today, we are starting off in the southern continent, aka Tartosa, which is the kingdom where our lovely Mira is from. It is the start of 1325, and we are at Mira's cousin Yasmin's house, which is actually a bit more of a palace, and we will get into the status of Yasmin's family in just a little bit. But we have arrived. Honora has been put to bed. She was pretty badly injured in the shipwreck that you saw in the intro, so she has not died just wanted to put that out there because she did roll a death on her death roll. I kind of wanted to like do a little bit of a fake out um, to make you guys think that like she might be dying in the shipwreck. But my girl is too important to me to kill off that way. She has to go out in something much more epic. So she is going to survive the shipwreck, but she is a little down for the count right now. So we've got her put to bed and all of that so she can get some much needed rest. And we're gonna go ahead and get into gameplay. All right, so Anora is now up and she has absolutely no idea where she is. So she's asking Aunt Mira, like, Aunt Mira, where are we? Um, Cause she doesn't really know anything about like Mira's background or like where Mira's from or anything like that. But she's going to be like, wow, this place is, like, yeah, really nice. Like, where are we? Um, Mira is going to say, well, kiddo, um, something we've never really told the family is that I actually am from a line of nobles in this kingdom. Um, we do some special work that no one knows about, which we will get into a little bit later. I'm keeping secrets for right now, or Mira is keeping secrets from Adora. She's not gonna just come out and say it, but she's like, um, we do special work here for the kingdom and we're like a highly reputable family, um, all of those things. And like, this is not adding up in Adora's mind because she's like, your father was a fisherman. That's how you met Caspian. Like, this isn't adding up. Um, so she's just kind of like, okay, I feel like I probably shouldn't, like, ask questions right now. Um, so Mira is just going to kind of give her a tour and show her around. So let me make sure they're in a group. And then we can kind of show... Um, Anora and you guys around but look at that this is the room that just Anora is in this is like the front of the um it's starting to get kind of dark outside but this is the front of the palace um I showed it a little bit in the intro but this place is amazing so you kind of walk in there's this big grand entrance and then Anora of course she was like injured so they brought her to like the first room here at the front she's got like this pool in her a room that is so cool like out looking um like outside and then this is kind of like the main seating area which is where everyone is currently gathered um so we haven't really met the captain everyone's like really down in the dumps right now <laughs> after the shipwreck um but this is captain nightingale he is kind of like a play on captain sparrow at first, I was going to make Captain Sparrow and I was from Pirates of the Caribbean. And I was like, nah, let's not go that far. So he is the ship captain. And I just want to say in the little bit that I was playing to record the intros and stuff, him and Anora kind of have a thing for each other. So we're going to have to kind of see what happens there. Um, of course, our lovely Caspian. This is our Yasmin. This is Mira's cousin. She's absolutely stunning. Um, and I wanted to give them like a different style of dress here. Liam is here, of course. Look, everyone's scratched up from the accident. And this is Omar. This is Yasmin's husband. Um, there is another Sim. Where is he? He's <laughs> like dressed in his swimwear. This is Malachi. He is going to be really important in the next part of Anora's storyline. Let me get him into his like everyday outfit. Um, he is... A little shady, a little bit. Um, he travels the world. He does a lot of stuff. We'll get more into him in a bit. Um, but he's here. He's just another one of their cousins. Um, and then our ship cook, he is in the kitchen getting some food ready for everyone. Um, so this is our cook from the ship. He said, you know what? I'm going to go in. Let me, let me use your kitchen. They're here all the time. 
Um, they've been part of Caspian's crew, or I guess Caspian's kind of like more like part of their crew for many years. And so he's very comfortable here. He's getting dinner ready. So I'll let him keep going on that. He's actually, I love this guy. He's like super jovial, really like comedic guy. He's kind of like the comedic relief in this group because everyone's kind of serious in this um, group of people. Um, so I like him. He's really funny. So everyone's just getting ready. Let's go ahead and have them like head over um, to the dinner table. They're all a bit down in the dumps. Everyone's feeling super sore after that whole shipwreck situation. Luckily, everyone did make it through. Um, I just want, I really want it to do a storm because I had no way of really showing like stuff on the boat or like them like loading into the dock and stuff and i was like i'm doing a shipwreck how many times am i gonna get to do a shipwreck in my game so it's kind of random but it was i i just really wanted to do it anora where is anora oh i think i accidentally had her locked in is she swimming in her little pool girl i feel you I would be doing the same thing if this was in my room. Okay, I accidentally locked her in her room um, because they kept trying to leave when I was recording the intro. So I'll have her and Mira come get ready for dinner. And then I have another lot placed down. Um, they're going to eventually, one, they're going to change like the way they dress and stuff because they lost everything on the shipwreck. So Yasmin's going to get some clothes and stuff for them. Um, and then I have this bathhouse lot that I put down that I'm really excited to try out. Um, so we'll take them to that probably tomorrow. It's already getting a little late. It's like 547 of the game. How's it going over here, Cook? Here we go. We've got some good soup. And then he's getting some more stuff prepared because I don't think this is enough for everyone. She's never really seen anything this nice other than the time that she like broke into the castle where Jasper was at night training. So this is probably like really shocking for her. I think she's just kind of like, um, Mira, why would you be living in like a tiny shack in Windenburg if you could be living here? <laughs> what are, what's wrong with you, Caspian? He's stressed from the shipwreck and losing everything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Caspian has stormed out of the room. He's mad about something, but that's fine. Um, so we're just going to chat a little bit more. Can we, like, do the thing that's, like, gossip about family drama? Mm, I guess not. Well, we'll gossip. Um, they're not going to share too much information with her at the dinner table, so she's just going to kind of have to keep trying to figure out what is going on with these people, where their wealth all comes from, all of that, because she's not getting too many answers at the moment. So um, she's probably going to just leave it at that. I want to make sure she knows everyone. I think she does because they're all popping up. So she's met Yasmin. Actually, no, she hasn't. Let's make sure she enter. Yeah, she has not. Let's make sure she introduces herself. Do a cheerful introduction. Um, and then let's make sure you meet Malachi, um, friendly, and then you know everyone on your boat and you've met Yasmin. So yeah, let's just make sure she knows everyone. And then instant attraction to Omar. That is, Honora, he is a married man. Uh, I have never seen that before. Anora Rosenthorn has instant attraction to Omar Kareem. If she chose to act on it, Anora would be strongly inclined toward romance. Anora, he is married. Oh, she has instant attraction to Malachi too. Of course you do. <laughs> what is going on with her? <laughs> Okay, girl, you bumped your head in that shipwreck. What is happening? All right, well, Malachi is at least single, so um, that's fine. Girl, maybe then let's have Malachi. If we're going to go this route, Anora, let's um, add you to the group. I want to make sure Mira is no longer in a group. I don't think she is. Okay. Malachi is going to so kindly offer, Anora, would you like me to take you on a tour around the rest of the castle? So let's ask her to go on a little walk. Um, did I call it the castle? Pal I want to call it a palace. It's a palace. It's not a castle. It's just a palace. Um, 
<laughs> All right, you two. Let's go. Let's go on a little walk and see the rest of the place. And maybe we can get some answers out of Malachi. Come on, Anora. Stop talking. Let's go. I love this lot so much. I'm going to put the names of all the creators and lot titles um, in the description. This was on the gallery and has absolutely no CC. It's really, really cool. Um, yeah, this is really cool, isn't it? Anora, look at her face. She's like, I haven't never seen fountains like that. That is, this is so cool. These are the most beautiful gardens I've ever seen. What are you guys going to do autonomously? What's happening here? I can't get my camera to turn over here for some reason. Um, let's see. Is she trying to go? Oh, you guys are going to go sit by the, um, the fire. Oh, I'm like, I'm kind of, kind of feeling this. How old are you, Malachi? Okay, you're a young adult. I couldn't remember what I made him. Anora, are you going to find love in this um, who claimed to be a criminal mastermind? Okay, that's fun. Let's hold, put a pit in that for a minute. Okay. Um, propose a crazy scheme. Maybe later. We just met this guy. Um, compliment his house. It's so beautiful. I can't. I think it might be because of this fence or something. I like can't get my camera to like zoom in closer on them. Um... So yeah, where was that fire pit that you guys were just trying to go to? I feel like it was over here. So why don't y'all come over here? All right, so they made it over to the fire pit. Anora's gonna light that up. I'm so nervous that these chairs are gonna catch on fire. So fingers crossed, because um, they're not very reliable. I feel like that got fixed in a patch a while back, but I'm not really sure. So we're going to try to get some information out of this guy because no one will tell us anything about why the heck um, Mira, who was just a peasant back in Windenburg, um, has family in another kingdom with this massive palace. Um, so, yeah, let's brighten his day. Let's like she's feeling very confident. Yes, she is. Um, try to butter him up a little bit and then we will do um, I don't want to propose a crazy scheme. Why are there no other deep thoughts besides that? Maybe gossip. Let's just do um, gossip. Sugar blue. Meh. Blue Let me know if you need anything, Shushi. Anora. I can help get you boss. settled in. Um, uh, I know it's got to be kind of nerve-wracking being in a new kingdom for the first time. Um, okay, ask him, Anora. So, um, no one's telling me anything about you guys as family and like maybe this is a little bit forward but i just feel like things uh -huh. are not clicking for me uh -huh. exactly uh -huh. um uh -huh. oh i like the uh, i wish i would have paused it when she was like asking the question um so is there anything you can like tell me i feel like <laughs> mm, should i have him like hint at something let me see can he claim to be a criminal tell a dramatic story that could work. I also want to see if he can do the criminal mastermind. No. Nope. Tell a dramatic story. Um, well, I mean, I guess no one said I can't say anything. So, um, you know how they say that they're just fishermen um, and they transport their their catches from kingdom to kingdom? Well, actually... Oh, here we go. I'm going to pause it right there. Well, actually, um, we're kind of spies but not like we're not the ones who actually do the spying we're just more like the messengers so we like we are fishermen like we do actually sell and catch fish and all of that but we also tran <laughs> transport messages between the kingdoms so um yeah i mean i guess don't say anything <laughs> I don't think he was supposed to tell her. I wasn't going to have her find out so quickly, but I really, I don't know. The fact that they're hitting it off, he like maybe wants to impress her. He's like, ooh, I'm going to like slip her this bit of information. Like, um, I forgot to say it while we were sitting at the table, but obviously I think she told them about her being on the run um, from the kingdom. So I forgot that part because I got so distracted. Um, but I think Yasmin and everyone was like, Anora, what are you um, doing here? Like, why would you leave your kingdom and all of that? And so she gave them the whole spiel about how she's like wanted by the kingdom and she wants a fresh start and all of that. Um, and so since she shared that, he figured, well, 
I mean, if she's at odds with the other kingdom, like, what's the harm in telling her that, like, we're involved in this, like, spy operation with the other kingdom? So Malachi has spilled the beans. I wish he could have claimed to be a criminal mastermind, but I don't think he can. Isn't that, like, a mischief interaction? Look, I gave him the nosy trait. He can spy on Honora. Um, start a rumor. Um, Abgor, you flung! I want to see kind of if these two have any chemistry together. How is their relationship doing? My relationship bar has been messed up at the top, so I have to look in the actual relationship panel. Oh, hi, Cook. Hey, you guys need anything from the kitchens? No, thanks, Cook. We're good. I'm just going to look through this um, telescope. <laughs> I should probably get rid of this. I mean, I had one of these on the ship, but... Well, maybe this is... Are we spying, Anora? Is that what we're doing? Are you like, oh, cool, you guys are spies? I want to try. <laughs> I don't think that's what this was intended for, but I think we could pretend. Just don't get killed by a meteor. Um, all right, Anora, let's go ahead. And your fun is really low. What could you, maybe ask Malachi if there's anything we can, if there's anything fun we can do in this palace. Um, We'll to give a compliment. We'll keep flatter him. <laughs> Let's keep buttering up, buttering him up. Uh, Malachi, I've been on a ship for like a year. <laughs> they were on the ship for like a year. And I just went through a shipwreck. I am so bored. Is there anything fun to do in this palace? Um, so let's have them go up and do, there's actually so much to do in here. I didn't change this lot at all, except for this was a kid's room and I changed it to be, um, Mira and Caspian and Liam's room because there was no, not enough beds. Um, they can come up and maybe we can like play, um, let's do like Don't Wake the Llama. I never, I never used that game. So let's play that with Malachi and see how things go with him. All right, so we're heading with everyone to the rec room. I don't know if Malachi is coming. Um, Captain, <laughs> get yourself a drink, I see. He's like, I had a rough day. My ship is gone. He's not going to be happy for a while. His ship is gone. Okay, let's play with Malachi. I think he is coming. Let's see. Let me speed it up. There he is. All right, so I'm going to probably end them all for the night here. Yeah, her fun is going up. So I'm going to, they'll play games for a little while and she'll keep, what are you thinking about, Honora? Dang, girl, this kingdom has really awoken something inside of you. Cook, I'm so glad he's joined too. This is actually so cute. She's going to make some friends. I can see Honora being friends with people like older than her. Malachi's probably like a few years older than her. And then Cook is an adult. <laughs> Cook, you knocked it down, buddy. I never play Don't Wake the Llama. This is actually kind of fun. Um, so they'll play some games for the night, and then we'll get her um, put to bed. And then tomorrow, I want to take them out to the bathhouse. It's, like, set up with hot springs. So I think they'll send her there um, to, like, relieve her, like, sore muscles and stuff from the shipwreck. Because she's looking fine, but, like, pretend like she's, like, limping around and all. <laughs> like injured uh but i didn't have a way to like make her actually seem like super injured so we'll catch up with her when she wakes up tomorrow morning all right so it is now the next day and i just had to take a moment to pause because Honora is looking so beautiful so yasmin got everyone some fresh clothing and everything since they lost everything in the shipwreck and i just want to say Honora has never really been super feminine in the way that she dresses but with this dress and all of the jewelry and her hair all done and even with her scratches from the shipwreck, she is just looking so stunning. And look at Mira, who's looking a little grouchy. But <laughs> besides that, she's looking so pretty. I've been wanting to use these dresses forever. They're like um, from Game of Thrones. I think a lot of them, definitely the one Mira is wearing is for sure from Game of Thrones. I'm pretty sure the one that Honora has on and then a couple other dresses I gave her. I feel like she's starting to mature. Like she never really liked wearing dresses back in the other kingdom, but they like, you know, had to cover everything and all of that. And this like to her feels so like eloquent 
and just she feels so beautiful in it and I just love seeing like the differences um, but these guys are out look I just, I have never played in Tartosa and I'm asking myself why because look at this world like this morning sunrise this is the bathhouse that we are heading to they're just crossing over this little bridge um we can see is that our palace over there um, no, that's a different lot that I placed down. That's like another um, house. And so it just looks so nice. So I just like, ugh, this world is so gorgeous. I do have some like historical overlays that are replacing some of the more modern stuff. Not everything. We still have like a regular trash can over here. And like, we can just say these are like, I don't know, candle lights or something. But um, it's just such a vibe. Like, I don't know if it's just the change of scenery or never playing in this world, but it just looks so cool. But we are going to go in to this bathhouse that I got on the gallery. It's called Ancient Baths. I'll have it linked or not linked, but like listed in the description, the name of the um, creator um, and the lot name. But they come in, it's set as the onsen bathhouse, so they'll just automatically come in and use the showers, which it's so cool. This is like another CC free build and um, it just does, like it doesn't even feel, it feels so historical. Like it's really, really, really cool. I was so impressed with the builds I was able to find um, on the gallery. I don't know why they switched back into their clothes, but when we come, yeah, she's coming to the hot spring, so they'll just change back. It's so annoying, but um, we're going to just spend a little time in the baths and then, um, oh no, it's like decorated for the holiday, I think. Or is that supposed, to, I don't think that's supposed to be like that, but it's okay. Um, maybe it was set like that from the gallery. I don't really remember. Where did Honora go? She's over here. So we're going to just relax our very sore muscles hopefully heal some of these bumps and bruises. Um, I love that some of the like townies are showing up. Um, let's meet this lady. Um, she's from the gallery. I downloaded a couple sims from the gallery just to kind of help fill up my world. Um, so we'll just kind of meet everyone and chit chat. And then I want to have her go get a massage upstairs. Are you already getting out? You guys weren't in there very long. Um, we do have the, from relaxing in the hot springs, natural water of the hot springs starts relaxing Sims with light, warm, fuzzy feelings. Um, okay. So everyone's already gotten out. So then if we go upstairs, um, we will come. I love these Sims. I got these from the gallery too. And I just gave them a slight CC makeover. I love her. This is Fatima. Um, we are going to come get a massage from her. So let's just come introduce ourselves and we will ask for, let's just do aromatherapy, um, lavender. I don't remember what the different effects are for those. Um, hi, I'm Anora. Nice to meet you. My aunt was telling me that you give the best massages. I was just in a shipwreck and I could really use it. <laughs> Deep tissue. <laughs> Deep tissue massage. You need it, Anora. Let's see if that will work. Hi, Yasmin. You're looking stunning. I, like, never have my Sims do um, massages in the game either. So even though it's, like, not as historical, I still want it to, like, show, like, kind of like the ancient Greek bathhouses, I guess. I don't know. I don't really know much about, like, Greek history, honestly. Um, and I'm not basing this world on, like, any one specific culture. Like, when it comes to my Sims games, I just kind of let everything be somewhat fictional. Like, even in my, like, ultimate decades and stuff, I kind of, like, this is Tartosa, and, like, we're from Windenburg. Like, I don't pretend like it's England or, like, any specific country because I don't know the cultures well enough to, like, fully, like, represent them. So if you guys are from any of those cultures and, like, know the histories and want to share anything in the comments so we can all learn, that would be amazing. Um, but I'm just kind of – I just wanted this to have more of a, like, Mediterranean feel since I'm in Tartosa, but I'm not, like, necessarily basing it on anything specific. Um, Mira and Caspian are jokesters. Sure, why not? All the Rosenthorns seem to be jokesters, so – that's fine. Let's see what Sims around here are doing. Like, there's like a couple up here. 
They're just chilling, stargazing at the bathhouse. Look, the sky is like open. I don't think these decorations are supposed to be here, but I don't. I'm wondering. I need to check the calendar if I have like a holiday set that I'm not supposed to. Um, let's see. Oh, tomorrow's Harvest Fest. That's why there's decorations. Okay, I need to remove that. Um, I do want to add some more like time period appropriate type holidays. Um, we did Midsummer's Eve. A, like a couple episodes back but I haven't really done um a lot of like holidays so I do want to get more of that kind of added to the game let's see is Malak Malachi's not here he's back at the house Anora is feeling much 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 better look at how good she's looking she's like wow I needed that yes you did here come eat this is Fatima's husband Samir um, let's just, we're just going to be super friendly and just like meet every, every new person we come across. And then I want you to change back into your dress, Honora, because you look so good and we're not going to go walk in the streets in this. Oh my God, Honora, you are attracted to everyone. This is the second married man. She has been attracted to every man that has crossed her path. Is that like what happens in Tartosa? Like what the heck? <laughs> She's attracted to him. Anora, I literally can't with you right now. I like literally can't. Um, okay, let's put your dress back on and let's get out of here. All right, so I'm going to just go ahead and send Anora home for now. And I think I'm just going to like wrap her part for this episode here. Um, we'll pick back more up in it maybe next episode because I do want to get more into like the stuff about um, like Mira and Caspian and like Mira's family being spies and I realized when I was editing the part from earlier that I wasn't super clear so like they are not working with the kingdom of Windenburg they are definitely working like against the kingdom of Windenburg so they are like spying on the kingdom not for the kingdom so I wanted to make that part clear that like Mira's family is definitely gonna be on the same side as Anora because what I'm doing is I'm setting up the conflict for the war that is to come in 13 um i think it's 1337 and we're in 1325 so we're like 12 years away from the start of like the 100 year war and i know that's based on real history but like in my series i like to create my own storylines and kind of do my own like historical fiction so i want to have like a reason in my game as to why like the war is happening like not 100 percent based on like real history um, so I'm setting up the conflict between the two kingdoms inside of the save file. And so now Anora, who has been pretty much against the kingdom of Windenburg from the beginning, is now going to be linking up with this family of spies that she didn't know she was a part of. So that's the plan for that. We'll be diving more into that. Um, but we'll probably save it for next episode because I don't want to miss the twins' birthday back at Rosenthorn Farm. So let's hop over and catch up with them. All right. So we are back with Adora because I attempted to start recording at Rosenthorn Farm and the lot kept crashing my game. I have a feeling it might have to do with the fact that I have switched it to a residential rental to run the inn. I have always had problems with residential rentals crashing my game. So I will play test it after this episode um, and see if that's what the issue is but I wanted to get this episode out and I didn't feel like I have enough in the episode yet so we are just going to stick with the Nora for the rest of this episode it is Wednesday in the game and the twins don't age up till Sunday so we still have plenty of time and I only want to play about like two to three episodes in like each age range especially when they're younger because there's just not as much to do with them other than just trying to get milestones and everything so I that'll be fine hopefully next episode we'll be able to get back on the farm but for today we're back with Adora and she's just leaving the bathhouse and um, Malachi has asked her to meet up with him at this location right down the street from the bathhouse so that is what she's doing um, we are currently making our way over here to this building. I'm so excited. This is literally wasn't even built earlier, but I went ahead and got the slot finished because this is something I um, have had in mind for her. Um, so we're going to go head over and see what it is that Malachi wants her to see. Look, there's Liam. Hi, Liam. Oh my God, it's Caspian too. Hi. <laughs> I just love seeing like the townies of the different Sims like out and about and <gasps> 
Oh my gosh. Okay. And there's one sim. We're about to like see some sims. Let's pretend he's not there. He was supposed to already be inside. So Malachi is Ma here. Um, and oh my God, it almost sounds like she Holiday. was saying, <laughs> it almost sounded like she said Malachi. Um, let me get him out of his weight and have him come here. Hey Malachi. <laughs> Um, so you told me to meet up with you here. What did you want to show me? Um, so he's gonna say, um, yeah, so I wanted you to meet up with me here because, um, there's some people who've been super excited, uh, to see you. And I thought you would be really excited as well. Um, this building, let me zoom out, is the official training grounds of the rebel army against the king of Windenburg. So this is uh, something that they've all been working on behind the scenes. Um, Anora didn't know about this, obviously. She just got here and she's just learning about all of this political stuff that's going on that she had no idea. Um, so let's put them in a group, um, actually with everyone. So, um, here at the training ground are some old friends, some familiar faces that you guys might recognize. Um, let's all go over here. Look at them. They're all training, doing archery. So these are our old band of misfits that... Anora got caught in the other kingdom with and I thought I never really planned on bringing them back um, But then once I put this together I was like, oh how fun if they actually had found their own escape and also made it to this kingdom and are part of This army that is building um, Against the other kingdom. So I thought that would be really fun So I was like, yeah, let's I was gonna create random sims and I was like, oh my gosh No, let's bring back the band of misfits um, so she hasn't seen them in years since they went separate ways after hiding out at Mira's house, which in hindsight makes sense why Mira was so helpful in helping them hide because she's been part of this whole movement for a really long time. So that all is making sense. Um, so she's excited, but there is one sim that we don't know. Um, and I am probably gonna have to have Anora reintroduced herself to all the other Sims too, even though she technically knows them because I had to bring them in from another save file. Um, that's neither here nor there, but we're gonna go ahead. Oh, she already knows them because I put them in the same household, but it's okay. We'll do um, a handshake and I'm super excited for her to meet this Sim. So um, we'll say Malachi is introducing everyone. This is Nezrin Felique. And so anyone who reads The Throat of Glass books by Sarah J Mass, she is a character in that book. And I was like, oh my God, Nezrin would be so perfect for me to put in to this series. So if you don't know her, or haven't read those books, she is like the world's like greatest archer. Um, and so for m my story, she is going to be the leader, like pretty much like one of the leaders of the rebel army. So we're going to meet her. I think we got a bad first impression with her. Let's see what she thought about us. <laughs> Nora has a crush on Nezrin. Is there a single sim that we have met in this entire episode that Nora hasn't been crushing on? This is getting a little bit out of control. Um, it does say we have good compatibility. She thinks Nezrin's interesting, which of course, you know, Nora has been like an archer since like she was a little kid and also like being introduced to someone as the greatest archer in the world. I, I'm actually surprised she didn't get a negative um, sentiment, but I don't know. Maybe she sees it as a challenge, but I find it interesting that Nezrin thinks Anora is pretentious. And also she's like, I purposely left her in her gown um, because she didn't know this is where she was coming. And like we talked about earlier, Anora is not very feminine. And I think she's actually going to come over here and she's going to do, I want her to yell argue yeah come yell at malachi she's like embarrassed that she's like dressed like a princess malachi how would you invite me to the rebel army training gowns dressed like a princess i look absolutely ridiculous they all think that i'm like some pretentious noble um <laughs> she's so she's I mean so she's happy but like she's so embarrassed she's like oh my god I look absolutely ridiculous um because she would much rather be in like her normal like 
archery outfit and stuff that she's wearing. But it's okay, Honora. You look gorgeous. Um, so I think uh, they're going to – they want to see, like, what her skills are. So, I mean, honestly, even – Let's reintroduce everyone real quick. Let's slow down. So this is Ronan. Um, his family has it out with the kingdom because I can't remember. You guys who've watched the episodes more recently can like feel free to jump into the comments and remind me because it's been so long since I recorded those episodes. But we had said something along the lines of like, I think Ronan was also from another kingdom or maybe he was from the kingdom of Windenburg, but like his father was killed and he had like a vendetta against the kingdom for some reason but i can't remember the exact storyline that came up but he's always been a loose cannon real hot-headed so he's matured a little bit but not too much and then there was the brother and sister Faye and dante so dante was the one who actually got locked up i was gonna play out him getting like um broken out but i never did so that's like a plot hole but it's fine he got out he's here um so dante and his sister Faye. Um, maybe it was them whose house, I think it was actually their house that burned down, not, not Rodin. So whatever it was, they all were just like misfits on the run during the famine. Um, and now they're here. So Honora knows all of them, but she does not know Nezrin. So she's meeting her for the first time. Um, and they're gonna give her some clothes. She's gonna go get changed. Um, and then they're gonna see what she can do because basically Malachi, can he, can he like talk up i like to use the, those interactions where they can like talk someone up we can't let's just talk about the rebel army um they might not know each other well enough but <laughs> nezarin is just gonna be like we have heard so much about you anora like the famous anora rosenthorn i can't believe you're like actually here like in the flesh and blood in our kingdom like I've heard that you are the greatest competition to my archery skills. So um, let's get her changed. And then Anora is going to show them what she's got. All right. So Anora has gotten changed into some more archery appropriate attire. And her and um, Nezrin are going to do a little bit of archery to see if she really is as good as everyone says she is. All right, so our girl, ooh, let's go, Nora. You got this. I know I have, we haven't done archery in a while. You've been on a boat for a year, but show them what, what you got. Um, she's not doing too bad. Um, I wasn't able to get Nestrin to do it with her, so I'm gonna have to figure out, like, why the, like, them doing it together wasn't working. Um, oh, Nora, that's okay. That's okay. You missed, but... <laughs> We gotta, that's why we've got a training ground so you can get better. I've definitely seen you do a little bit better before, but um, Nestorin is not in a good mood. First impressions are strong, nothing to do about it. This sim just isn't inspiring any kinship in Nestorin. I think Nestorin feels threatened. Oh my God, look at her. She's like, oh, I see a rivalry here. Are you guys, you're hot and cold. Are you getting along? Are we not getting along? Oh my God, her face is everything. I need a screenshot of this. <laughs> oh, Nezrin, it's okay. Anora is not coming for your, I mean, maybe she is. Let's be real. Anora is very competitive. Maybe she is coming for your, your spot as the rebel leader. Um, so yeah, I love this. I did not actually anticipate them being rivals, but I kind of love that for them. What happened to Malachi? I think, oh, he's right here. Malachi's here. Um, uh, Malachi, can you come help ease the tension, um, over here, please? Uh, can you just like come maybe complimenting? Isn't here, go fish for compliments or something. Be, be Malachi. He's like kind of pretentious and like, all about himself a little bit but at the end of the day malachi is a, a good guy what's going on over here are you guys fighting already <laughs> make it all about you malachi oh my god nezard is like in a mood her face um okay so let's just go ahead and um should we do anything else while we're here? I'll show you guys the, like, the rest of the lot. There's not really much to see. I just wanted something that looks pretty epic from the exterior. 
Um, so I used these walls in um, debug items from uh, the Jungle Adventure Pack, and I built this like really grand like exterior. Um, and I mainly just needed like the archery items was like really all I needed. And I really wanted the culture of this world to be like, even though this is the rebel army, like this culture, like really stands for peace. Like if they like can get peace, like they would choose that. Um, so I made this little like peace garden in the middle with like a fountain. And then they have like, um, like an offering section section where they can do like prayers and offerings and stuff. So I just I was like maybe this is like the goddess of war or something. I don't know. So if you guys have any fun ideas of what sort of like made up like tradition we could create for them. Um, of course we got some blacksmithing station because we're gonna need like swords and arrows and stuff. Um, and then I wanted to make sure they had like a bathroom area. So I just built in a really simple like bathroom area there and then a place like to hang out for morale and everything and then I do have these other sims like living on the slot so I just put some like army tents down for them they look a little bit out of place I was I tried to tool mod them off the lot but they just like would not go so I was like that's fine um and I just put fountains like even though it's like training for war I wanted it to be like somewhat peaceful and feel a little bit reverent um so I really like how it came together it's super simple but I like that we can just be in here and like practice our archery practice our sword fighting actually Honora, I don't even know if you have the sword fighting skill because, like, you wanted a sword so bad when you were a kid. Okay, she's level two. Yeah, I remember before we before we did the um, attack on the castle. Why don't you practice with um, Dante? Because he was who d did your first sword fighting lesson. Where are you, Dante? Go do sword fighting. He's gonna be like, all right, kiddo, let's see what you got. Oh, it's like going down memory lane. He did her very first sword lesson with her. Come on, Anora. Oh my God, not Jasper writing us a letter. He's like, hey, Anora, we'd love to have you join farm hands. What do you think? Well, I can't, Jasper. I'm in another kingdom, but we're going to say he wrote a letter and he's checking to see if we made it. So we're going to have to write him back. But we're sword fighting. I'd watch out if I were you, Faye. Oh, he let you win. He totally let you, let you win. Dante's a really experienced sword fighter. Let's go again. Let's go again. Um, I have a theory that they whoever you cue it from is who wins, but I haven't like fully confirmed that. So let's see. I'm cueing it from who's doing archery over here, Ronan. Okay. Are we going again? Yep. Rematch. See, she won again, and I cued it from her. I've tested this before, so if I cue it from Dante, let's see, practice swordsmanship with Anora and see if he wins this time. That's my theory. If that's the case, it's kind of annoying, but let's just see. Best out of three. Best out of three. Let's go. Ronan. Wait, what is he doing? He's tense. Noisy nuisance from feeling watched. Ronan can't. Ronan can feel the gaze of a nosy sim. Oh my god, that's that's Malachi. Malachi is the nosy sim. That's funny that that I didn't know that could give some other people negative nooblets. Pakorfik Shima. You always have been super hot headed. Uh, Ronan, you're in the way. We're trying to sword fight here. Okay, I think they're going. Here we go. Best out of three. Best out of three. Yeah, see? Dante won, and I cued it from him. So three out of three times, the person I cued it from is who won. But that did get Anora up to swordmanship level three. Let's go. Um, I don't think they fist bumped in this time period, but we're doing it anyway. Because um, we are we have limited interactions. You won, Anora. Two out of three. You got it. Wait, why do Faye and Dante have a difficult family dynamic? I'm going to say no to that. Ronan, you are... Are y'all about to fight? What is happening here? The drama at the rebel camp. Okay, we're going to have to work on some like camaraderie and some morale between this crew. 
Jongi. <laughs> Dante's just joking with us. I love that. Oh my god, catching up with old friends. Oh. Um, so this is gonna be really good for her. Malachi, do you want to be part of the rebel army? Are you trying to impress Nezrin right now? Is this what's happening? Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, Malachi. <laughs> oh my god, are they doing the push-up contest? What is happening? <laughs> I know Sims like randomly do push-ups all the time, but the fact that they're both doing Nezrin, I think you won. I think you proved your point. Oh my god, that was uh, that made me laugh. Okay, I'm definitely not editing that out. That was kind of funny. So I think we're gonna um, leave the rebel camp and head back to um, our main house that we're staying at with um, Yasmin. I guess I mean she's. She's our aunt's cousin, so maybe we'll just like call her aunt Aunt Yasmin. I don't know. Um, we'll just call her Yasmin. But we'll head back to the house with Malachi because I kind of want to see Anora and him together just a little bit longer. I mean, the girl is in love with everyone in the town. Let me know in the comments who is your favorite bachelor or bachelorette for Anora because she has the hots for everyone in Tartosa right now. Um, so maybe we can get her a little bit of love before... Um, before she's no longer with us. So plenty of options. Let's head back to the other lot. All right, so we are back at the palace and I've got Anora and Malachi here because I just kind of want to see, I don't really have anything for their storyline at the moment. I just really want to get a sense of if there is like a romantic rapport between them because I definitely had zero intention of him being... Um, a love interest for her, but I don't know. They are, he was originally going to be part of her story. Um, cause he's going to kind of be the go between, between like her and the rebel army. He's kind of like the person who kind of pulls all the strings with like the spying and everything. Like he's the one who like delivers the messages between like the, the cat, like the actual like queen, king and queen of this kingdom who I still actually have to create, but I'll get them created. So Malachi is kind of like the go-between between, between like Mira and Caspian and the captain and the ship and the the royals. And then he's kind of like the liaison between like getting Anora into the rebel army and all of that. He's just like a huge people person. Um, so he's kind of the one like making sure all the things are happening. Um, but I didn't necessarily see them being romantic. So I'm going to do some romantic interactions from him. Like I'm going to have him flirt with her because we haven't done so any like actual romantic interactions Bobby she just got the like she's hot for him but i don't think he's gotten anything for her and while they're doing that i've got cook getting dinner ready because everyone in the house is like super hungry um so i don't know we'll see if we get a vibe why does uh Okay, I guess Caspian and Mira are off flirting somewhere. Sure, Caspian, Thanks. you can like flirting. Me. Just We're not focused on you right now. Fosinoy, Valpim, uh, Malachi I'll can't get a word in. Why are you embarrassed? <laughs> oh. oh my god, he's remembering like an embarrassing <laughs> uh, something from a party. That's hilarious. <laughs> what did you do at a party, Malachi? That's got you feeling embarrassed. Okay, I didn't really see how she reacted. She's kind of... Did you even do a flirt? I don't even think you did a flirt. Oh, oh my gosh. We're getting lots of letters from home right now. Now it says mom is calling. Um, I'm going to cancel that for, for right now. Um, we need to write your family, Anora. <laughs> if every day is three months, we've been in Tartosa for almost six months. We haven't even wrote our family. Okay. Okay, so she received that positively. I just noticed that it is suggestive conversation. Uh, I kind of, this is where I like to kind of watch my Sims autonomously you know, so and see like, again, does she try to autonomously start flirting with him? Oh, college, like, does he do any autonomous flirts? Hello, so he's asking about her day. <laughs> oh, that's really sweet. He's like, I, that was a lot of information to take oh, in today. Yeah, like, how was it seeing like some of your old and acquaintances now. and... <laughs> everything talk about the temperature wow could you be any more bland right now malachi okay she got that's adoring that's the adoring sentiment um so that is that what she feels about him i think so oh he is attracted to us 
They had good first impressions. He, Malachi thinks Honora is strong-minded. Love that. She thinks he's independent and capable, and she also is adoring. She just wants the best for him and thinks he's wonderful. So yeah, she's like, oh, this is like, he's like a really nice guy. Um, I forgot what his traits are. He is, oh, he's not like, he's a party animal, self-absorbed, and he's nosy, and he does not want a child right now. I mean, if she's just had, trying to have a little bit of fun before she's no longer with us, I mean, he could be a good time. I don't know. <laughs> what do you want, Anora? What do you want? Is Don this just Luna a friend, or is this more than a friend? Aga, Aga. Um, Serpa! Right now, they have proximity working for them because, I mean, he lives Spine. here. But she also has a crush on Nezrin. Um, so we could, but but her and Nezrin would be like enemies to lovers. Um, if that's the case, because they're kind of like rivals at the moment. What is this? Tea deprived from nosy Sim being starved of secrets. Okay, we'll have to get you some some secrets. Malachi, I feel like she's kind of just being friendly with him at the moment. Zafis, Omar, could you go Michi, away? Michi. You're third wheeling our conversation. Hello. He's bored. Oh, That's not a good sign. That's not a good sign. Deep conversation, Her. though. Okay. Snibara Watanini. Nibs, Yadafem. <laughs> Karenzi. Oh, maybe. Huh. Okay. I was trying to think what their deep conversation could be about. I mean, they've had a pretty heavy day today between rebel armies and all the things. Family of spies. It's kind of a lot to take in. Yeah, he's bored. Okay, dude. Malachi, we're not chasing you. If you want us, you know where to find us. Honora doesn't chase. Um, all right, dinner is ready. I accidentally made two because I couldn't find the first one, and apparently it was right there on the table. All right, so while everyone, I don't know where like Yasmin and like Caspian are, um, and everyone just keeps getting up, but while they wrap up their dinner, I think we'll go ahead and wrap this episode here, get them down for the night, and then hopefully next episode we'll be able to get back into Rosenthorn Farm a little bit, catch up with our twins. But it was really fun catching up with Anora today, kind of getting to see a little bit of the new kingdom. It's probably going to take me like a few episodes of playing here and kind of getting used to the new characters and the new lots and everything. Why are we all just gathered right here? It's fine. That's kind of cute. Um, so I hope you guys yeah. like the new characters, like the new world. If you have any ideas for the storylines or fun characters or fun builds um, for a Nora storyline, feel free to drop it in the comments. I always love kind of brainstorming together and coming up with fun ideas. Um, so we'll leave it here. If you like this episode, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.